Hey guys, I'm Aaron and this is SketchUp Square One where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today, we're going to talk about using pins to deform images. So it's entirely possible you don't know what that title means. That's cool. This is the beginning part. This is square one. This is where we go to base, you know, the basics. So the idea is that with SketchUp, you have the ability to take an imported image, apply it as a texture, and then deform it by dragging corners of that image and moving them around. Uh, we're going to take a look at how to do that right now. Okay, so we first thing we need is a surface to put an image on. So I'm going to grab a square and I'm going to pull it out and I'm just going to type uh, 8 foot by 8 foot. Maybe in this example I'm getting a banner printed or I have a poster of a specific size. Uh, something where I want an image on this surface and I want it to be uh, conformed to a specific shape. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to import and go file, import, and I'm going to grab an image. I have this image of a, uh, uh, a model I did on live stream and I want to import it as a texture. Remember there's as an image, match photo, or as a texture. I do want to import it as a texture. When I import as a texture, it gets kind of put in this paint bucket and to apply it, I have to pick two corners that I want this to go on. So I'm going to start in the lower left corner and I'm going to drag it out to the full size by clicking up in the upper right corner. So you'll notice right away, obviously this got a little bit clipped and uh, that's not ideal. So one of the things we talked about in a previous video is taking this image, right clicking on the image and using texture, position texture, to use these pins like this to do things like scales. So if I want to make this smaller and make it fit like that, I could do that. But because textures automatically tile, if I make this image smaller, it repeats up here. So it's not just one. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into texture, go back into position, and I'm going to drag that back out. All right. So this was these were the pins, the colored pins are the ones we talked about in the last video. In this one, we're going to right click and we're going to toggle off fixed pins. And we get these little, I don't I actually don't know what these names are, uh, distortion pins, white pins. I call them white pins because the little logo is white. But uh, what these pins let me do is they let me take this image and stretch it as if this image was printed on like a big rubber sheet and I just stuck a, stuck a nail in there and started pulling on it. So if I grab this pin right now, click and hold and start dragging and see exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to drag this wherever I want and get some, get some really crazy effects going on, um, which can happen. I don't know a lot of people that deform their stuff like this intentionally, but you can do that. That's an option. What I could do instead is if I click and release on a pin, now I'm dragging the pin and placing where I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click it like right there. And I'm going to grab this pin and I'm going to bring it over here and I'll leave, drop it in line with the first pin. See that as I, as I come along, see the little inference line that shoots out? Boom, I'm going to drag that one there. I'm going to click and release. You pick up pins. Again, I'm going to repeat this because I stumble on this still. Click and release to pick up a pin, move it, and then click to place it. So in this case, I want to place it so it's in line with both pins. There we go. So I created a smaller rectangle around here. Now what I can do is I can click and drag one of these pins to stretch the image to the shape that it's in. Like that. And in doing that, I took that image, which was cropped to a size that was totally different than the, the picture I wanted, and I put it, forced it into this square shape. Now I can do more than that. I can, I could actually come back in here and if I wanted to uh, change that a little bit more, of course, I could bring these in and maybe squish it in a little more, uh, something like that. I can use that uh, in conjunction, conject, conject, no, wait, that's not the word I wanted to use. I can use that alongside <laughs> my fixed pins to, you know, come in here and maybe scale that down to make it fit perfectly. But those those white pins, that non, the non-fixed pins, allow you to take an image and stretch it. So this is actually not the same uh, aspect ratio that the original image was. I squished it a little bit to make it fit in the square. But in the end, I now have an image that fits right inside the shape I needed to make my poster or banner or whatever else I might need without having to use a, a photo program. I didn't have to go out to Photoshop or something like that to get that 
in there like that. So I don't know if you've run into this before, or I mean, some people avoid photo manipulation or editing in SketchUp because they think you can't do it. But uh, basic things like that, taking an image once it's in there and treating it like a piece of geometry is something that SketchUp does a great job of and makes it very easy to do. This is something absolutely I could go into Photoshop or Illustrator or GIMP or something like that and use that software to trim or distort that so it fit perfectly in a square. But if you don't have to do that, if you can just import raw geometry, you can use those pins and deform geometry or deform those images however you like. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos a week, including one of these square ones, and you'll be notified of its release if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Most if not all of our content nowadays is based on comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.